Welcome to Fat CJ's. Cat. No, Fat Cat's Garage. CJ. It's Fat Cat's it's Garage. CJ's Garage. It's Fat Cat's Garage. CJ's Garage. It's my channel. Who cares? What are we working on today, buddy? Fart. <laughs> O3 Chevy shit ho. Yeah, what's the problem? Belt squeak. All right, well, let's get the uh, belt squeak in, see if we can't get that going. Start to do one. This is what we're doing. We're going to take it all down. We're going to take off the uh, tensioner and change the brand new belt. And, uh, yeah. See For what another brand new belt. Yeah, for another brand new belt, we'll see what happens next. So when you want to be lazy, you just get the uh, air ratchet. Yeah, the air ratchet out just to get this fan shroud off, huh? Because you know the bolts are a mile long. Yes, they are. They only need to be like half an inch. All right, just rip it out. Is that monkey shit out of here? Yep, just set it on the trash can, and that's where it belongs. <laughs> You know, you get more light if you just back this truck up just a cut here. So you take the brand new belt off. Yeah. And today's brought to you by Master Pro. I told you to get gates, because this is Master Pro. Oh, shit. All right, I guess we're not going to change the uh, belt, because apparently it's the same damn belt here. Um, yeah, I'm a jackass. This is how you take it off here. You're going to... I'm not the one that bought the wrong part. Well, when you said gates, I was thinking of food. <laughs> All right, Brad. Well, whatever. No, seriously, I was like, bro, gates, man, that sounds pretty good. Because, you know, even though we went and got Jack in the Box, but I was like, oh, you said gates, and I wasn't thinking about a belt named gates. I was... All right, anyways, so this is out. And this is supposed to be the bad one. It has been changed a year ago. Less than a year ago. I said we got it from O'Reilly's, and I hate O'Reilly parts. So let's see if it matches up to the number. Uh, oh, no, 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 no number. Okay, so this must have been AutoZone then. Riley's is going to save the day. Maybe. We'll see. We'll definitely see here. But it helps. It could help. So, anyways, brought to you by Master Pro belts that squeak. When you want a master squeak, get Master Pro. How to put a serpentine belt on? Well, I'm not going to show you that one. So we'll just uh, go ahead and skip this part. Now, how you put a belt on one-handed? Magic. You take your little your your ratchet girlfriend there. Stick it in your mouth. There you go. One-handed. Look at that. Oh, like a like a champ. Okay, one day. There you go. Still, still one-handed. So you turn that, and then you push under the belt. And voila. All right, and we're gonna see if it squeaks. He thinks it is. I think it probably will too. All right, here we go. Start bay one. It don't squeak. Slightly. That I, wasn't Bell. No, that was no, vacuum. That was, that was definitely a lot better. That was vacuum. I would I would assume that the other tensioner pulley up top was the other one that was changed a year ago. So if it starts squeaking, it would be that top one where the belt rests. I don't know if you can see it because that big old, big old air box is in the way. But yeah, it's the one that goes underneath the belt for the uh, alternator on the 03 Chevy Shitho. That'd be the only thing left because this is a brand new belt, brand new alternator, brand new uh, steering pump. Probably got maybe 5,000 miles on it. And that's it. There's nothing else. And the squeak's gone. Yay! <coughs> For now. So day number two, we uh, put the new belt on and it kept squeaking. So we bought a new belt. We take this belt off, and now we're going to start it up without a belt and see what it could be. Let's count down. Go ahead. Bay one. No squeak at all. Nothing. All right. 
So, okay, so it's definitely the serpentine. Uh, yeah, it's either going to be the belt or it's going to be. So the last items we put on, ever we've been getting a squeak from this damn power steering ever since. I swear. And then it went away, and then it got cold out, and then it started again. So we changed the belt. This is the newest, uh, well, the biggest anyways. Uh, it's alternator. What I'm worried about, I think I know why your shit's squealing. Why? Look at the first rib right here. Yeah? What about it? It's indented. Is it? Like, how bad? It's where it's going to... The... Look, you can see it better there. See, it's squished. That first rib is squished. Yeah? That could be hitting the belt and squealing every time that goes by. Mm. Yeah, because we used some... Um, what would we use? We bought something. What would we buy? Belt conditioner. Yeah, we bought belt conditioner. And that made it worse. Yeah, it made it way worse. It sounded like grinding noise. So... I really think that's it, because the rib's not... It's gone right there, and it's bent out. It could be hitting the inside of the rib and squealing every time that belt hits that one spot. Hmm. Well, we're going to put on a different belt. Ooh, you know what we could do to fix that? What? Dremel. A Dremel? Dremel. Maybe. I mean, I mean, it can't hurt to... I mean, even if we cut it out... Um, oh, just file it down a little bit. We could actually turn... We could turn it and see what it does... Maybe we can find. Maybe there's more than just that one. You want to turn it and see what? Uh, I'm going through it here. Hmm. I almost feel like I'm using a potato to record. Yeah, it's all there's fine until spot. right there. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see what we do. So the main reason why we uh, started without the belt because there's still the bottom belt um, for the alternate or not the alternator, yeah, for the AC unit and see if that was it. But no squeak happened, so um, that squinches that one. But now we still have um, other pulleys and other issues that could be uh, making the noise. We're gonna go ahead and chop this down and see with the light on you can actually tell actually it kind of looks bent yeah but we're about to fix that yeah that looks bent all to hell right there hmm and better did you actually cut it down I just filed it down and made it smooth. Right. No, I've been all right. You just cutting that that part out where it was bent, because you know, I mean, there's more teeth on there to grab. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Should be good now. All right. Well, we'll try it. We're gonna put on a different belt today. <laughs> today, brought to you by Gates. And not barbecue. Not the not the barbecue in Kansas City. This is uh, Gates. Yeah, they do belts, different kind of belts, all kind of belts. We had Motorcraft on here, and we figured that was a Ford part, so let's go ahead and uh, take that off. Maybe that was uh, a bad belt. But we've already replaced, this will be the fourth or fifth belt. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Um, we just can't figure out the squeaking issue. Put water on it, squeak stops. We put, um, what was it called again? Belt condition. Yeah, belt conditioner. I just say liquid soap. And uh, it actually got worse. So that made no sense to us. You would think uh, the conditioner would have helped. It would think. And you would think, but $6 later, that was a waste. All right, new Gates Bell. Here we go. Let's see if it squeaks. Huh. Start a bit, Ward. Not a noise. Little. Not a. Not a. Yeah, but see, that's what it did. Uh, yeah, last, last night. Time. Yeah, 
Yeah, last night, and all of a sudden. So if this fixes it, it was either the problem I found and fixed, uh huh, or the bell. Because we was putting a four part on the Chevy. Uh huh. Maybe let's hope that's what it was. Cause man, it's so annoying. Well, it might be fixed, buddy. You're welcome. I'm glad I saw that on that pulley. Yeah, I am glad too. I like I've never even thought about that because usually when you're looking at the pulleys, it'll you'll see that you know if if the belt's kind of moving and that's what would make it squeak it from going side to side. But that I would have never assumed. Only I would have assumed that if we bought it from O'Reilly's. But no, we didn't buy the pulley nowhere. That's a factory pulley. We changed the pump, not pulley. Oh right? uh, well, the pump. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I would I would assume something. Well, maybe we didn't put the pulley on correctly, or, or either way. Um, if we would have bought all the parts of the Rileys, we wouldn't be having any problems. <sighs> oh, fuck, man. This truck gets so annoying. It's a money pit. It's not a money pit. I barely put money into it. <laughs> just the squeaky thing. That's just something I just couldn't stand. Dude, if doing personal, if doing maintenance on your work vehicle is tax deductible, you would owe no taxes. Damn. Damn, that's deep. Hey, did you like that video? Well, try these videos out. If, have you seen this video yet? You have? Try that video. Oh, you've already seen that video? I don't know, replay this video. It's awesome. No, for real, watch one of these other videos. Seriously. The videos.